Hey guys, on today's video we're going to factory reset this iPhone. Now it's the exact same thing no matter which iPhone you guys have. So this in particular is an iPhone 8. So we're going to get started, go right into settings. Under settings, we're going to scroll down till we see general. Under general, all the way down, we're going to see reset. From there, our second option, that's exactly what we want to choose, is our second option where it says erase all content and settings. So we're going to go ahead Right now we should see this, maybe if you didn't back something up, this is the time to do it. If you don't care, if you already transferred all your information to your brand new phone, I suggest you just continue on. From here we're going to see this. So you could go ahead, back up, then erase, or just erase now. I'm just going to erase now, enter my passcode. Once you enter your passcode in, it's going to ask you this. Now that's if you guys had a passcode, if you didn't, it's not going to ask you for one. And we're just gonna erase iPhone, erase iPhone again. From there, it might ask you for your Apple ID. If you guys had an Apple ID configured with your phone, so it's gonna ask you for that password. Just put in the password and right away, it's gonna do this. Okay, it's just gonna think for a minute. Apple logo, loading bar. How long will this take? Well, for most of you, it's just gonna take about five minutes. Others, this could take longer. And if you guys, have an older iPhone, it might be even a little bit longer than that. With newer phones, it's a little bit faster, but I wouldn't take this whole thing more than five minutes. Five minutes is actually a lot. And yes, this process will erase everything from your phone. That includes pictures, photos, phone numbers, personal information, emails. Your Apple ID will be erased. You're not deleting your Apple ID, so your account does exist still. There's another way to actually delete an account, but that's your account. So you can log into your account, let's say on your MacBook, on your PC, on your iPad. So that account still exists. However, that Apple ID, which is tied to this phone, we just deleted it from being tied to this phone. So it's no longer synced up to this phone in particular, okay? So for sure, if you're buying a new phone or something like that, you want it to be factory restored so that way you can activate it using your own Apple ID and that way it's gonna be 100% yours. Anyways, at this point we can go ahead and set it up again. This is exactly what's supposed to show us and we can just push this button in order to get through and just do the whole setup. So right now it's factory reset. If you bought a new brand new iPhone, this is exactly how it's gonna start up and the whole setup. So brand new Apple ID, everything. I could even use my Apple ID again to activate this phone. I don't have to. Anyways, if that's all you guys wanted to do, you can shut it down for now. However, if you wanna sell it, I highly suggest to set it up. You can set it up without using a SIM card. So make, remember to take out your SIM card from the side. Also, remember that to activate this, you guys can just skip out on all the iCloud stuff. So you don't need to put in your iCloud ID or any ID for that matter. You guys can skip out on all the passwords, everything, and just have it set up for that brand new person to just test it out. Of course, they should erase it again and activate it using their own Apple ID. For now, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and turn it off. I'm gonna press the volume key plus the power key and slide to power it off. And that's how I can power it off. I'm all done, it's all set up, and I'm done with this iPhone 8. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.